Jack Karen Grant is a pretty good looking guy. Give us a lowdown. Anything going on between you and him? Miss West? secretly married. How about it, Miss West? Don't you slide me on here. Miss West, you know the Vanity Fair says you're the greatest female impersonator of all time? Let us in. Are you really a man? Take it from me, Mr. Kane. She's all woman. Huh? <laughs> yeah, References to prove. Uh, a thousand references. I don't need a thousand. Real do. Real do. Well, if you got the hey, all right, all right. Tell us about everybody else. All right, that's enough. Keep it. Don't keep it. She's been very kind, hasn't she? Thank you. We'll see you all some other time. Just one more. Come on, hurry, hurry. Come on, come on. Out. Thanks, fellas. We're talking to y'all soon. Here, come on. Okay, boys. There you go. Thank you, sir. And Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks Thank a lot. Thank you, sir. Well, Thank you. what do you know? What? <laughs> it's from Kaufman. What does it say? Thanks for saving our studio. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, may you're on top now. Stage and screen. You can do anything, anything you want. Jim, I got this idea for a picture. I really like this Cary Grant. I think that we could make oh, a great Oh, wait, wait a minute. There what? are other things. What? Other things. What other things? You really don't know, do you? What don't I know? Oh, May, your career's not everything. Sooner or later, the curtain has to come down. You gotta have someone to come home to, someone you care about, someone who cares about you. Yeah, you keep talking about my career like it's some separate thing, like it's not... Me. me and my career are the same thing. Hey, I want a family life. I want a home. I want children. Mae West is not a mother. No, and Mae West is not a wife either, but she's going to be. I am not. I want you to marry me. I'm already married. What did you say? What? Yeah. Yeah, I'm already married. And Frank Wallace, back in 1911. And when did you plan to tell me about that? I don't know. It didn't amount to nothing. Fact is, I uh, kind of forgot about it. Oh, you really take the cake, you know that. Oh, Jim, don't be angry. You lied to me! Who am I to you anyway? Some bum you just picked up? Fifteen years invested in you. Fifteen years of my life. And all of a sudden, you just turn around to me and you say, Jim, I forgot to tell you. I'm married. You know, I'll never understand you. No man in the world wants to get married. Well, I do. But it's not a natural state. It's just something invented by women to hang on to men. You really got it all figured out, don't you? Yes, I do. Well, I wish you luck. Where are you go? You find yourself another manager. You just lost this one. No one walks out on me. You're not right in this scene. I am. I, uh, I just gotta go. Something's wrong. What is it? Oh, nothing. Uh, it was great. It was, it was great. Everything they say about you is true. But what? I could have been anybody. Good morning, Mary. 
Mm -hmm. How'd you sleep? Staying late. No, uh, maybe the young blonde guy? Yeah, cute, huh? See him? I didn't see anyone. How many pages did you get written yesterday? I don't know. I'm, I'm having trouble with that. You want me to read what you've written? No, don't read it. It stinks. How about we take a long weekend? Palm Springs. Too hot. You owe yourself some time off, May. Don't you think? I go crazy with too much time off. Don't be so hard on yourself. It'll come. I build my whole career around one character. And them senses, them holy Joe reformers are trying to kill it off. Am I trying to harm anyone? Yeah, but how about we drive up to Santa Barbara? You know in Santa Barbara. <laughs> no one. I just thought it might be fun. Now, what do you say? Oh. You miss him, don't you? I never thought I was making him so unhappy. I never meant to do that. Why don't you just pick up that phone, call him in New York, and tell him just that? Oh, I couldn't do that. You cannot go on being a fugitive. What? From life. We're being poetic this morning. May? One of these days, you are going to need someone. Really need someone. going to be there. Mr. Timoney, Mr. Abrams on the phone. Not now. It's the third time he's called today. Not now. It's about the Madison Square Garden deal. What shall I tell Mr. Abrams? Whatever you like. Here, here's your receipt. You're now the proud proprietor of the Brooklyn Bridge, and when that one wears out, I'll spell you. Supposed to be, I'll sell you a new one. I'm sorry, Eddie. Cut! Can we try that one again? Hey, sweetheart, what seems to be the problem? Anything I can do? No, I just keep blowing lines. Maybe I just need to get away for it for a minute, huh? Of course. All right, let's take a break, everybody. Uh, go on out for a coffee. Be back in ten minutes. Uh, uh, Miss West. Now what? The two lines here I find very disturbing. First, I wouldn't even lift my veil for that guy. Uh, the question being, of course, what would you lift? Mr. Abbey, I'd hate to have your mind on a good low morning. Uh, 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 one more thing, Miss West, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, now this, this here coming from you is a good deal worse. I wouldn't let him touch me with a ten-foot pole. What's wrong with that? <laughs> 